Hi there, this is James Swanick, and you're listening to the Alcohol Free Lifestyle Podcast, where you learn how to take back control over alcohol and live a life of health, wealth, love, and happiness. Angela is 90 days alcohol free today. Congratulations, Angela. Thank you. And Angela has a more connected relationship with her daughters, Mm -hmm. which she's going to tell us about. Yep. She's a better leader. Mm -hmm. And guess what? She's socializing with her friends who have always drunk and are still drinking. And she's having more fun now. Yes. I have have videos to prove it. (laughs) Have you? (laughs) Have you really? Yeah. (laughs) Angela Ponsford, congratulations on 90 Days. So good. What was life like before you worked with me and my program and my method for quitting drinking for 90 days? What was life like around alcohol? So I drank every weekend. I was I didn't drink during the week, I was fine with that. I didn't get the urges, but every single weekend it would get to Friday and I would be thinking about having a beer or a wine. So and so pretty much every Sunday I was feeling a little bit seedy. Mm. You know, I wasn't like out going out and getting outrageously drunk, but it was enough for me to feel it every mm. weekend. And then usually on a Sunday afternoon, like I'm a, I live in Australia, Sunday sessions are a huge thing in Australia. And yeah, I would have a few beers on a Sunday and then Monday morning I would, you know, just feel the effects of it. So, mm. I would, and I, I think that's how I connected with you originally. It was like, it wasn't that I felt that I had an alcohol problem. Yeah. I just was over the slight, just not being at my peak. Yeah. I knew that I just wasn't right up there and I wanted to be more. Scale of one to 10 on how you felt and how productive and effective you were being. Now, looking back, probably a six. Six out of ten, yeah. yeah. And six out of ten, you might, you probably realize now, like, costs you money, costs you connection mm-hmm. with the kids and family. Yep. Health, yep. clarity, focus. Mm-hmm. So six out of ten is kind of just existing in the world, really, isn't it? Kind of. Yeah. Now that I look back. Yeah. And now that you've been alcohol-free 90 days, if you were then a six out of ten, how do you feel? Nine and a half, or nine. I mean, like, but I'm because you know, 90 days, and I'm like, there's so many more possibilities opening up for me now. So let's say a nine. Yeah. Because I've see, I've got plans for bigger things. Yeah. So if I'm already at a ten, then. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about your yourself and your friends and your daughters and and what you do. Okay, so I work with a US agency. We run Facebook and Instagram ads and I manage the media buying team. So there's 10 people in the team and we're spread, I live in Australia and we're spread right across Asia, Europe and into the US. So I have a, you know, I do pretty well yeah. in my, my role mm-hmm. in the agency. Mm-hmm. Um, fairly high powered and lots of calls at different times of the day. Mm-hmm. So I do that and I have nine and a half year old twin girls. Mm and friends who drink. Yeah. Yeah. Friends who drink. Friends who drink. Yeah. And I could drink, can drink. You can if drink. I used to. You're a Scottish lass. I am. Scottish lasses can drink all right. They can, especially when they live in Australia. It's <laughs> nice and sunny and a nice cold beer is beautiful. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I do for work and I'm a mum and etc. cetera. Um, for, uh, and what's your been your drink of choice? Before beer this. and wine. Beer and wine. Yeah, I nev- never really drank many spirits, if at all. Um, but yeah, a cold beer and a glass of wine. Do you remember a feeling of like your lowest point? I mean, look, you're not an al- obviously yeah. you're not an alcoholic, but you were drinking regularly enough that it yeah. was slowing you down and, and causing you problems. Yeah. Do you remember like when when it dawned on you? Wow, there's something that I need to fix here. Mm, probably that last month before connecting with you. Mm-hmm. So. Just thinking, you know, like on, so because of the hours I work and working with people in the US, like Saturday morning calls are mm. a regular thing. So early, you know, like 3 a.m. calls on a Saturday. Yeah. And I remember going out a couple of Fridays and then having, you know, just a few glasses of wine, but then having to get up at three in the morning and then just getting up and thinking, what the hell were you thinking? And like, what were you thinking? And just suffering through, a, you know, a few hours of calls and knowing that I wasn't fully present and fully there and fully able to use this thing which I have been gifted with is fairly smart and just knowing that it wasn't really being utilized and so I think that last month I got really clear on that 
and plus I was also doing a, a 12 week fitness challenge mm. which was you know four days a week um, Monday Monday Tuesday Thursday Friday and quite all, most of the Mondays of that 12 week challenge I'd had a few drinks on the Sunday and so it's, it's ludicrous you know doing this like real you know intense fitness challenge and then knowing that the Mondays I really wasn't given my hundred percent yeah so it was a, it was a combination of those things and particularly in that last month so November last year mm. and then I, had, I think I was following you already on Instagram and then you just started mm. seeing the posts um, about the coaching. Yeah, so what you ended up doing is joining my, my group which helps entrepreneurs, business owners, executives, professionals mm -hmm. quit drinking for at least 90 days, mm -hmm. get to today, which is 90 days, <laughs> and, uh, and then from there ultimately choose whether you wish to go continue going alcohol-free, etc. But... Yep. Before you did that, you had to get on a call with me, yes. um, and you, you had to speak with me. Yes. How were you feeling? Well, first of all, what inspired you to click the button and book a call with me? And then, how were you feeling before and during the call? So, uh, I was terrified of doing the call because, like, I never get on calls for these, no, like, for, for any kind of coaching. Like, if I know that I have to get on a call, I'd usually not. not not doing it and I remember sitting with the, the, the page open for about two days beforehand and I was like oh no and I was going, back, going backwards and forwards and I was on my mobile now I'll just go and check out the page on, on desktop and then we'll go back to my mobile and then I think it was one morning and I was like I picked the last time that was available and it was like um, this was on the Friday and I think the call was on the Monday I was like I'm not doing the call at the weekend I'll do it on the Monday morning <laughs> and um, I think I'd gone out I'd got, I'd, I think the Friday night before mm. the, before the, so I'd booked the call I, I went over and met a couple of friends for early just to say hi had a couple of drinks too many again got up for my Saturday morning meetings and was feeling just like oh just didn't feel 100% and I think actually on that Saturday then I booked it or maybe Friday or the Saturday I booked it and then that was the last time I had a drink I, and then I got on the call with you already so already more than 24 hours into yeah. not having had a drink which yeah. doesn't sound like much but for I hadn't had a drink on that Sunday yeah. and um, got on the call the Monday morning and I was I was ready yeah. I was ready to talk to you yeah like I didn't. I had no idea what to expect. Yes, I was just like, "Shit, I'm getting on a call with this Aussie <laughs> guy that lives in Venice, and like, I feel like I know him because I've seen him on Instagram, but I don't really know him." Yeah, and yeah. And um, was the call? I mean, obviously, ultimately, you joined and and got the benefit of the ninety days of coaching. Mm -hmm. But uh, was the call valuable for mm -hmm. you? Yeah, really valuable. Like, yeah, the call in itself was like we. You like delved into just asking some really good questions about how I was feeling, that my really current relationships, you know, with my kids and my friends, and and where I was at in business, and yeah, it was the call in itself. I got a lot of value out of, and yeah, just when you when you told me what the program was about, and you know the benefits that I could get. I mean, I was terrified. It was the first of December, a second of December, and I was like, well, when does it start? And you were like, well, right now. And I'm like. Well, Going to the UK in Paris for Christmas and New Year, and there's champagne there. <laughs> What's this dude talking about? Let's like, start right now. Um, but I did, yeah, because I, I got so much value out the call. Yeah, and like I'd you know just gone through. I'd been you know stalking you all weekend, going, "What's he been on? What's this guy all about?" So you were googling my name. Hell yeah. <laughs> did you find anything incriminating on me? Lots. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then you took action and you you joined. Yes. Uh, and were you nervous to join or when, once you finally made that decision were you excited? What were you feeling when you said yes, okay, let's do it? Nerves. Nerves mainly because it was it was December and, yeah. and that's, you know, drink, it's drinking season, you know, that's drinking season for Scottish people and Australians and party season and I was like, oh, I'm not sure about this. It's like, still wasn't sure about it, yeah. even though I'd said yes, but was excited about the possibility that, that this might be the end of my drinking yeah, and I guess it, it was, you know, you're letting go of something that you that's been a familiar friend for a long mm, time, yeah. But also, an unwanted friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of funny to say that, like an unwanted friend, right? Totally. Yeah. Um, and then that Christmas, that December holiday period, you actually were over, and there was beautiful fires, and there was opportunity to drink mulled wine, and yes. and what happened? I didn't drink, and it was awesome. 
and I didn't feel like I was missing out and I got really present to the amount of time I actually spent thinking about drinking and that was not there and when I say thinking about drinking like when so when I would be having a glass of wine I was thinking about oh when I'm, I'm going to be finished it soon and I'll have to go up and get another glass of wine or where's the waiter is the waiter coming around to offer me another glass of wine and just the amount of time spent thinking about booze was quite astounding like yeah. really realizing like the time that was crazy still crazy and does it feel 90 days later does it feel easy to be alcohol free or does it feel still feel like a challenge it, no, it, do, it doesn't feel like a challenge. So it, it, I just had a conference there, which you were at, and normally that's a super boozy time of year for me. And there was a lot of networking, a lot of parties, and I went out and, and probably had more fun, certainly on the after party. Um, it was an 80s party. 80s? What character did you go as? Well, or did, I, how I was did you kind of up? like Cindy Lauper. Someone told me I looked like Cindy Lauper. I had a nice pink tutu on and a pink shell suit. and. You know, I was rather fetching, and um, <laughs> and there was a, there, so there was like you know, dan dancing, dancing all night, and then there was a competition on stage which involved a shake weight, and I got up on stage and uh, joined the competition completely sober. Amazing! <laughs> wow! And all my mate, my mates were like, one minute I was there, and then they turned around, they're like, "Where's Ange?" And then they realised I was up on the stage, and they were just like <laughs> laughing their heads off that I was up there, stone cold sober. <laughs> So you can have fun without alcohol. I had so much fun. And you can network and do deals yep. and be a great leader in your business yes. while being alcohol free as well. Totally. Because a lot of people think, well, I network, there's open bars, there's conferences, there's all these kind of things like there's the staff drinks on a Friday night, but you've been able to navigate all of that alcohol free yep. while other people are drinking around you, yes. while there's an open bar. I don't yep. know about you, but I used to love the open bars. It's like open bar, don't have to pay anything for alcohol, yep. give it to me. The 80s party was an open bar like in a nightclub in uh, in San Diego and it was really cool and they had a really cool band and open bar all night. And what did, what did you drink? I had some soda water and fresh lime. I love it. So what was life like before you went alcohol free and what's life like now for you? So before it was weekends, feel, weekends drinking, um, certainly Saturday night, usually Sunday night, uh, not being able to drive anywhere with my kids. so. If they wanted to go anywhere, that wasn't going to happen on a Saturday night or a Sunday night. Just feeling sluggish generally at the weekends and just not being fully me and 100%. Mm. Now that I've been alcohol free 90 days, uh, I have so much more clarity on what I want to be doing personally and professionally. Yeah. Uh, I definitely am a better leader. I, I notice it myself. I've had so many people say, ask me what's different about me and that they've just noticed a different energy from me like like sounds a bit woo woo and I'm not that woo woo mm. but quite a few people have said that to me mm. um, and then just so much more time I mean like the time yeah. just like for reading for learning yeah. for catching up on stuff for going out with the girls like yeah. just you know up there like oh we want to go to this place on a Saturday night great let's drive there and do yeah. it like, so you don't feel like you're depriving yourself of, of, of anything when you when you're going out not drinking. No, the absolute opposite. Because wow. like I know, like I know, I can drive somewhere, and I like I can get home, or I can drive my mates somewhere else, and we can go to a few places. Yeah. And I'm not like, oh, how are we going to get there? How are we going to get home? Yeah, amazing. So for um, have you have your daughters noticed as well? Or have yeah, you... yeah. But, and like you know, I had a conversation with them early on. You know, not that they thought their mum was an alcoholic, but they knew mum liked a glass of wine. And I told them, I was like, I'm giving up, I'm not drinking anymore. And they were like, oh, and I said, we're, we're going to, it's, I want to do that as partly for you. I want to have, you know, be able to do more things with you. And like, yeah. I think they really understood it. And we had some friends over uh, a few weeks ago and they, in fact, my sister was over and she opened um, some champagne and um, she was there with her boyfriend and they were drinking champagne and they're like, oh, um, the, the girls went to hand me one. And I'm like, no, I'm not drinking. And they're like, oh, that's right. Yeah. You know, and the, I was like, no, I didn't think I was drinking girls. They're like, no, no, we, we just, you know, I thought maybe because Arlene was here and I'm like no amazing amazing uh, what would you say to someone who's watching and who's thinking about getting on a call and maybe going alcohol free because uh, I'm pretty scary to talk to on the phone <laughs> some of my, t my team members are pretty scary as well I think yeah it's not so scary after all <laughs> uh, I would just say get on the call like honestly that it's 
I, it was a huge step for me. Like it's not something that I do. Like I can talk to most people. I can get on stage. I can talk to people. But just talking one on one on a call, like in that kind of coaching or like that personal environment, like I was terrified. But the, the, you know, James was like so nice, uh, welcoming. And, and I got real value out of the call, just do it. And don't think that it's that you have to have a serious drinking problem to, to get on the call with them. Like if you just feel that you're not operating like at your best at 100, or at even 90% of what you could be then, yeah. get on a, honestly get on a call. If I can do it, anyone can do it. I love it. Well, congratulations. Thank you. I'm super pumped for you. And uh, may I give you a hug? Sure. All right. Congratulations. I'm so happy for you that it's 90 days. Thank you. you were, it was pretty scary 90 days ago, right? It was. On the phone call. Mm -hmm. And 90 days later, here we are. You were in Australia. Yep. I was in uh, I was in Venice Beach mm -hmm. in California, and now we're in Venice Beach, California, 90 days later. Yep. And for me, I've had a life with alcohol, and I've had a life without. And I can tell you that a life without feels so much better. What do you think? Yep. Totally, 100%, hands down. Like, I'm 90 days in and I ain't stopping here. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Angela. I am one year alcohol free today. Amazing. Congratulations. Thanks. This is Angela Ponsford. I am James Swanick from Project 90, and Angela was one of the original gangsters of the 90 day quit drinking program that we had. What does one year alcohol free look like? Lots of beautiful Sunday mornings with no hangovers, lots of nice Saturday evenings doing what I want, going to anywhere I want to, driving where I want to, and getting home to my own bed on any evening that I want to as well. I love that. <laughs> how does it feel? Like, how does it feel being alcohol free for one year? Just, it feels so freeing. My body feels healthy. Um, I have so much more time for my kids and just doing the things that I want to do instead of like thinking about where's my next drink coming from. Mm. What was your drink of choice or what were your drinking habits when you enrolled in Project 90 a year ago today? Wine and beer at the weekend, that was it. I wasn't a huge, big, heavy spirit drinker, but just like on a Saturday, I really loved a cold beer and then I would have a bottle of wine. Mm. And what impact was that having on your life? Sluggish, um, didn't want to go out and do things with the kids, you know, especially like Saturday nights or Sundays. I was just like, oh, I just like, you know, it's just leave me. I want to lie in bed or I want to lie on the couch and not do much. Yeah. So none of that anymore. And then you were telling me that about a year ago you started seeing my Facebook ads for Project 90. Yeah. And you, you were like, who is this guy? And you must have looked at my ads about 100 times before yes. you actually booked a call. Stalked Tell that story. You, oh, you yeah, stalked me, stalked did you? you? Stalked you on my. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of, like, I'd started seeing your ads and then I was like, who is this joker? No, I wasn't. Um, and then <laughs> looked you up and realised you were an Aussie living in Venice and I'd been in Venice quite a bit, so mm. spending a fair amount of time there. And I was like, oh, well, maybe this guy's okay. And looked you up and then I think saw the, saw the ad on the Friday, thought about it over the weekend, filled in an application, got on a call with you on the Monday and then joined on the Tuesday and had had my last drink on the Sunday. And yeah. Yeah, it was just time, serendipitous. Yeah, and it was December 2018 when you did that, and you were you were about to go over to Scotland, I think, yes. and you were scared that you were going to be able to, yes. if you were going to be able to get through the Christmas and holiday period yep. alcohol-free, but you did. I did, because I was in Paris for New Year, and I was I already had my sight set for champagne in Paris for New Year, and, you know, drinks in Scotland with the family, and no, didn't. Pretty good. And uh, you had to cough up some hard-earned cash to do Project 90 you because did. you got personalized coaching, yes. you get group coaching, you got one-on-one -on -one calls, yep. you've got a methodology for quitting, but most importantly, staying quit, yes. right? Which is what you've done. Yes, it's not just for the 90 days, it's yeah. like giving you tools for yeah. life. Yeah. So was the investment that you coughed up, you cold hard cash, was, that, was, it, was it worth it? 100, 200% yes. Like, it's so worth it. Like, I know it seems, it pro if you are thinking about it, it might seem like a lot of money uh, right now, but like a year, booze free. I think of the money I would have spent on, not, you know, just thinking of that alone, just the money I would have spent on booze. Like, mm. not even, you know, worth thinking about, but like just the, the changes in the way that I look at things in life now, like tools on how to cope with 
things when you feel that you want to drink. Yeah. Mm. And it's not just the money that you save on, on alcohol, it's the money that you make because you're clear-headed mm -hmm. and you're focused and you're productive, right? Yes, yeah. definitely. Yeah. And especially if you, you know, have your own business or you have the ability to make choices around um, how much you earn, which is i.e. everyone, um, then yeah, 100% it's worth it. Okay, and so what if, and just finally, what have friends and or family noticed about you in this year of being alcohol free? Whether they've known you would you were alcohol free or not? Mm -hmm. um, I think in my eyes a lot. People have like commented, oh, like how bright, much brighter my eyes are, and um, my skin. Not the yeah, who knows? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so people commenting on things like that, and then just in general, um, like demeanor, like you know. Especially the closer net, knowing how less volatile. I don't know if that's the word. Yeah. I don't know. I was irritable. Thinking, irritable. That's yeah. the word. Yeah. L less irritable. Yeah. A lot less I, I irritable. notice that. My kids notice it for sure. Uh, and your twin, your twin daughters, mm -hmm. they notice it. Yeah. Oh, big time. Yeah. What have they said to you? Where and what circumstances? What situations have there been where they've said something and you go, oh, that's interesting, like they notice them on alcohol free? Um, I think certainly, yeah, the Sunday mornings is the big one because it was like, you know, it's usually a bit slow on a Sunday morning um, and yeah, so they're like, oh, mom, do you want to get up and do this thing? And, you know, sometimes I still can't be bothered because I'm doing other things, but like, <laughs> um, it's an option. And yeah, I think just them noticing on, like doing things on Saturday evenings, like, yeah. oh, can we go to the movies oh, yeah, or go yeah. do something? Whereas before it would have been like, no, no yeah. I'm not doing it because I want a class of women. Yeah, amazing. Uh, what would you say to someone who's thinking about joining Project 90 and doing this? But more than just joining Project 90, but taking the leap of quitting alcohol for at least 90 days, possibly more and beyond, possibly forever. Yeah, um, just, tr just trust that you have it within you to do it. If you're already thinking about it, if it's already there, if that desire is there, then you actually do have it within you to do it. Uh, but just getting that support right at the beginning from James and Kevin and the Project 90 uh, crew, that's that's what makes the difference in that those early stages. You believe in it yourself and then, then give it, reinforcing that belief that you can do it. Mm. Thank you, Angela. I'm going to give you another hug, like we did last time. Congratulations. This is what one year alcohol-free looks like. Yes. Thank you so much for listening. I have some free stuff for you. If you go to jameswanick.com forward slash guide, I will send you my formula for reducing or quitting alcohol. If you'd like to watch the video versions of these episodes, then you can watch them at my YouTube channel, which is at James Swanick. If you'd like to send me a direct message on Instagram, you can do so at James Swanick. If you would like to try a three-day challenge, a free three-day challenge, you can go to jameswanick.com forward slash three-day challenge. If you would like to try the 30-day no alcohol challenge, you can go to 30-day no alcohol challenge. If you would like to schedule a 15-minute exploratory call with one of my coaches to see how we may be able to help you in your alcohol-free journey, you can go to jameswanick.com forward slash schedule. And my request is, if indeed you enjoyed this episode or you have enjoyed the podcast, would you please go ahead and rate the show in iTunes and would you please write a review? A review might just be a sentence saying, great, listen, hey, this was fantastic. Oh, I really enjoyed this. Whenever you give a rating, whenever you write a review, it surges our podcast up in the rankings, enabling more people to see it and hear it and potentially inspiring someone out there to reduce or quit alcohol and potentially transform their life. So yes, while it does help me to get ratings and to get reviews, you will actually be directly contributing to helping someone's life by having them discover this podcast. So if you are open to inspiring others and to helping me in the process, would you please go ahead and give this episode a ranking and would you please write a review? Thank you so much for listening and I will catch you on the next one. Thank you.